Hello folks it is I have fun 0235 and welcome to another World Conqueror 3 general review, the star of which will be Tolbukhin. He is a Soviet 4 star infantry 3 star artillery hybrid general with 5 star mobility who costs 1750 medals and is a rotational general. He has 3 infantry skills level 4 infantry leader that crits 16% of the time, level 2 organization that adds 30 hit points when the infantry unit drops below 50% health and level 2 raider that avoid retaliation 12% of the time. He also has the artillery skill level 2 artillery barrage that adds 12 damage when the artillery unit drops below 50% health, and the universal skill level 3 anti-armor that adds 9 extra damage against tanks. So the pros of Tolbukhin is very obviously his speed. He joins the 5 star mobility infantry gang consisting of Yamashita and MacArthur. However just like Horton, Tolbukhin is around half the price of the two generals comparable to him. Not that MacArthur is comparable to Tolbukhin who outclasses the former by light years. Tolbukhin also has organization which is a very good skill since infantry units lose health very fast and the healing increases the survivability of the unit. But the cons of Tolbukhin is that he does not have bayonet charge which is the skill that increases damage when the health of the unit drops below 50%. While Tolbukhin has healing that theoretically keeps infantry health above 50%, if you had watched the Falkenhorst general review despite Falkenhorst having organization he tended to have below 50% health. This means Tolbukhin does not have the increased damage output when his unit drops below half health which is not very good considering infantry sucks. But I guess it makes sense Tolbukhin does not have the skill since his skill set would be almost identical to Yamashita's. So instead of bayonet charge Tolbukhin has artillery barrage which is, in the context of an infantry general completely useless. However in the context of an artillery general with barrage he would be quite viable considering his 5 star mobility. Another gripe I have with Tolbukhin is his health. He is considered pretty expensive yet only has a hundred health. In comparison the pure infantry general Falcon Horse costs about 600 medals less and has 80 health, which means it is cheaper to get Falcon Horse and upgrade his health. So in conclusion if you are in need of a mobile general to rush and capture cities across the map, Tolbukhin is your guy. But if you just want a good infantry general, you should get Falcon Horse. Or if you're rich and can spend money you should buy the in-app purchase General Vasily. But enough talk, it's drop kicking time. Anyhow thank you for watching this video on Tolbukhin and tune in next time for another general review, remember to subscribe and good day to you.